So you said you decided not to go, you went to New York and you decided not to stay there and do that route, right? Of, um, and you went back to Vermont and then you said that was the right decision. So talk about that, like what went into that decision? And then like, how did you start creating the logger and, and um, tell us about so that the, character. The industry work, the commercials, the TV, the movies were happening at the same time that the logger, in fact, I wrote the second act of the first logger on the set of Black Dog, which is a movie with Patrick Swayze and Chuck the Meatloaf. So I was getting work, but this logger thing, apparently, Rena, and probably, I love Vermont. I never really moved to New York City. I love Vermont. You know, I was, I was there all the time, but I, I you know, it was like I was still here. So a very integral part of that answer, this answer is my father 50 when I was born. Now I'm 36. He's 86 at that point. Living up here, my mom 20 years younger, but still uh, I felt the, it was palpable. I'd be laying on the, on the little thing, I, this futon, one of my apartments in 91st and 1st. And it was palpable, the feel to pull and go back there. Now the logger was just blowing up too. To do, the, and here's another answer, part of that, to do the logger right, to answer all the calls from the Boy Scouts, to do the calendar photos, to write new material, to drive to 100 miles away and do that show that night, to do that right, well, the way I thought, I had to be here all the time. Sure, I could have said, hey, if you get a good audition for me, innovative artist, call me down there. So you're going to drive down to a two minute audition, drive back. You're going to get a call the next day for a call back. It wasn't going to work. I chose that to say it was the right decision. The other one would have been the right decision too, but a lot of it was family. And a lot of it was because of, uh, it was a Vermont. And, and I had done a lot of stuff down there. To tell you the truth. I don't like movies as much. Movies and commercial TV. I don't like doing it as much. That's another thing. You get you get in front of two hundred people, and I do two hours straight. It's just a different deal, you know. I don't know if you've ever done anything, Rena, but I know Jason has, and uh, that's a different feeling, and I prefer that one. 